So Harley-Davidson had their annual launch party yesterday. Was it a disappointment? I got a feeling there's more to come. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Bob's Garage taking place right here in the Charlotte, North Carolina region. If this is your first time here, hey, thanks for stopping by. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, yeah, Harley Davidson yesterday um, held their uh, the big launch that we've all been waiting for, and uh, I wasn't able to watch the the uh, broadcast live. I was at work, and um, what I did was I was in a meeting, but I had on my computer screen. Don't tell my boss, but Harley's website. I was looking at some of their motorcycles. I give them credit because while the broadcast was still taking place, they had everything updated on the website. So I went in and I could look at all the new motorcycles, and. I, I looked at everything that they had. Um, I got home and I, I was talking to my wife about it. I was like really disappointed. I was like, I was going to do a video and just say, what a joke. This was a, a disaster. I don't know what they were thinking. And, you know, I was really kind of pissed off. And um, I thought, well, okay, you know what? Before I do that, let me watch the broadcast. Let me just go back and, and view it because it was at their YouTube channel. So I went back and I watched. And now it makes more sense to me. Um, Jochen Zeitz, who um, I really give the guy credit. I think he's doing a really good job running the company. I, I do like the guy. He's got a great business mind. I, I, I think he's doing a good job. But he indicated that there's more to come, including maybe some new motorcycles. Uh, and then Brad Richards um, was speaking, too, when he was talking with the uh, guys from uh, Two Lane Life. I w I'm like only one CVO. I was like crazy. But then he indicated there would be more CVOs coming. So they're going to... Um, they're going to take this 120, uh, 120 anniversary celebration and spread it out throughout the year, it looks like. Usually we get a mid-model year, um, a, a new bike or something changes, but I think this year it's going to be a little bit throughout the year. We'll see. But um, I don't know what you guys thought about it. Uh, I, As far as the anniversary color, I think it's kind of cool. Um, it, it's it's an upgrade, obviously, because of this this uh, the heirloom red fade they're calling it. I think it's a beautiful looking color. Um I love the way it fades from dark and, and, and to the, the lighter red. And, and like uh, Brad Richards said, when you get that out in the sunshine, um, the, there's some real fine metal flake that's going to pop. I think it's a beautiful color. I think it's worth the price increase. I do like the fact that these are all limited edition motorcycles now. They're all numbered. Uh, I felt that they should do that with all the anniversary models that they have done. Um, they haven't done that in previous years. They just kind of mass produced them. This year, these are limited. I think a lot of these are going to sell out before they hit showroom floors. Uh, I think because of the fact that they are limited and they're numbered. Um, so yeah, and I also think it's kind of cool that they're putting the bronze wheels from the STs on these uh, these anniversary bikes. The only thing they should have done is they should have put the bronze on the lower rocker uh, boxes uh, like they did on the STs because they, they're chrome on there and there's not a lot of chrome on that bike. Uh, they either should have left them black or made them bronze, but. It's, it's minor, but I mean, you know, you're spending 30 grand on a bike, it, it, you know, and did you notice that we're still not getting LED turn signals on 2023s, uh, only on that CVO, um, so it's still going to be uh, um, upgrading with Custom Dynamics, apparently, and, and Hogworks, I got mine from Hogworks, but uh, other than that, um, you know, they. Uh, one thing that I was really happy to see was the return of, of the breakout. I, I remember in 2013, my family and I were on vacation. We went to Daytona, and it was it was the we got there the week after Bike Week, which was kind of cool because some of the vendors were still there, so we got some T-shirts for like half off, and it was kind of cool. And we stayed um, in Ormond Beach, and we went to Destination Daytona, and there's a hotel right on the on the lot. We were gonna stay there, but they were booked. But we went in, and we went in the lobby. Um, there was this Harley Davidson breakout. They had just come out. It was 2013, and I just couldn't stop staring at this bike. It was gorgeous. I just thought, what a cool hot rod. I mean, just it screamed Harley Davidson hot rod, you know. And it's never been a huge seller, but it's done well, especially on the West Coast. It's done well. So when they got rid of it a couple of years ago, I was kind of surprised. And I'm really happy to see it back. It looks like from the uh, videos that I saw, the seating position, you used to really have to reach. Your legs were extended, your arms were extended, you were hunched over. It looks like they've, they've corrected the ergonomics on that a little bit. The, the riders that I saw on the uh, videos look very comfortable. Uh, they bumped up the motor to the, to the 117. It only comes in the chrome option. Uh, it's still got the wide 240 tire. 
uh, it, it does still scream Harley Davidson hot rod, especially in that orange that they showed it in. I mean, what a great bike. I, I, I'm, I think it's going to be a really good seller. Uh, so that I was happy to see return. I'd love to see him bring the deluxe back. I don't know. Um, then they, they uh, the Nightster. We, we knew that there was going to be something changing about the Nightster because they didn't release that uh, a couple weeks ago when the new models came out. Um, so we knew there was a change. Uh, and they have the Nightster S, which had leaked previously on um, YouTube. But uh, this was a little bit more in-depth look at that bike. The biggest change, it's basically a two-up, okay? So it came with a, a passenger pillion and some uh, passenger pegs. It's a kind of a small bike to go two up on. You're going to want a couple of, I mean, they had two women riding it. Uh, you're going to want a couple of small folks to go two up on that bike. And that's just my opinion. You wouldn't see me and my wife on that bike. I mean, I'd look like a monkey humping a football. It'd be stupid. So, but I think it's a cool looking bike, all blacked out. I'm really hoping that this new Sportster line takes off. I don't think it has yet. Um, people still love the old Sportsters, the Evo Sportsters. Unfortunately, with the EPA regulations, they couldn't sell that motor anymore. I really hope this new line takes off. I think eventually it will. Eventually, that motor, uh, the RevMax, is going to be in everything. Trust me. And, you know, there was an article with Johann Zeitz, and he said that in the future, distant future, decades now, that Harley-Davidson will only be selling electric motorcycles way down the road. I read that today. It was a quote directly from him, so I, I believe it. And I think he's right. I think that's that's the trend, uh, unfortunately. It's going to happen long after I'm gone, long after we're all gone probably. It's, it will not be in my lifetime. But anyway, back to the RevMax motor. I do think you're going to see that... Um, you know, the, these motors only last a certain amount of time, then they replace. You know, the Milwaukee 8 came out in 2017. The replacement for the Milwaukee 8 will be the RevMax. It will be in everything eventually, I promise you. Um, so I was happy to see the, 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 the nice dress. I thought that was kind of cool. And like I said, I really hope that line takes off. Um, the other... I was disappointed that they didn't bring back or bring out the Pan American 975. We'd heard about it forever. Uh, people were saying that the, on the website they used to have uh, parts listed for it and model numbers and everything, so we, we thought it was a done deal. I think, now, I, I just watched a video from Matt Laidlaw, and he he says that he don't, don't, doesn't think there'll be a 975, uh, that they haven't even gotten this current Pan Am up and running, and it's, it's still fledgling, it's still new. But I think you'll see that later in the model year. I really do. I, I'm... I think you might see the Bronx later in the model year, too. I mean, there, there's so many people are clamoring for that bike. People really want to see the Bronx. So I think you're going to see that, too. Um, other than that, you know, they showed off some of the new accessories. And the I love the new bags that they um, provide for the Lowrider S. The, they look like the Leather Pros. I think they're probably Leather Pro bags with the Harley Davidson name on them because, I mean, they're identical. Uh, those are really cool. They got the cutout for your turn signals and everything. Now you can get the lowrider st bags separately and add them to your lowrider s if you want to um, it comes with all the hardware so if you do want to add the hard bags to your lowrider s you can do that now um, just buy one kit there you haven't got to buy you know part everything out just buy one kit which is kind of nice i thought that was a good move the, the clothing line i i i'm not going to buy the 120th anniversary i didn't buy the 100th anniversary or the 100 and whatever i didn't buy any of that stuff and i'm not going to i mean a white t-shirt just a plain white t-shirt with the logo for the 120th anniversary was $48. It's never going to happen. I got this on the clearance rack. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I love Harley Davidson. Don't get me wrong, but the pricing on, on their clothing is just so far out of whack. I just, I, I don't get it. Um, cool looking stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love the new logo. It looks great on some of the hats, the $40 hats, which there's not a hat made worth 40 bucks. Um, but I think that looks cool. The leather jackets look cool, but again, almost 600 bucks. Um, but leather jackets are expensive. I get that. But but I do like the new logos. Not anything I'm going to rush out and buy, but I do think that they did a good job. Um, I think overall, uh, having watched the video and, and heard from Jochen Zeiss and Brad Richards, I understand now what's going on. I'm not as disappointed as I was. There will be more stuff coming out. I really, really hope that they, they do come out with a, a Road King ST. I think it'd be a huge seller. They don't have the Road King standard anymore, so uh, another variation of the Road King really might and, and an ST, how easy would that be? Just throw the chrome wheels, put the 117. I mean, it, it's not a big deal. I think that'd be a really good seller. So Stay tuned. You never know. We, it, it's early in the model year. They just had the first launch, so you never know. Um, I was at Speedway Harley-Davidson just the other day. 
if you look at their channel, there, there was some video uh, that they just put up there of, of some inventory that came in. So I saw some of the new colors. Um, I'm, I, I'm this bronze, this, this white sand, I, I'm telling you, it, it's the greatest color ever. They, when I was there, the truck um, dropped off 15 motorcycles, two of which were Lowrider STs and the white sand pearl. Unbelievably beautiful color on that bike, especially those. I, I'm, they're probably sold already, and this was just like two days ago that I was there. Um, they got it right with that color. Some of the other colors, you know, we talked about that last time. I really do love this heirloom red fade. I think they did a great job with that. Uh, but some of the oranges and yellows and blues, I'm not a fan of. Anyway, um, that was, you know, all I had. If you guys had some thoughts on, on what you thought about the uh, entire launch and the new bikes and what was there, what wasn't there, what you wish you had seen and that you didn't, comment down below, you know, um, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, I, I, like I said, I watched a bunch of videos, some other YouTubers, just to get their 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 take on some of this stuff. Some guys were disappointed. Some guys were like me, like, you know, this is just the beginning. So I think there's more to come. So stay tuned. And uh, that's all I have this week. Thanks for coming along for the ride. And uh, get out there and ride safe when you can. I know the Northeast is getting a little snow, but it'll go away soon. Spring's right around the corner. We'll talk to you soon.